to you for coming out, oh, to your amazing you. services, you. and to you for being my wife. Oh, oh my God. God. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you have ever joined this party, please hit subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, all of the things, because guess what? Today, the wedding journey continues. So I recently found out that engagement photos are like a full on thing that everyone does, not just wedding photos, but engagement photos too. I didn't know, but hey, you know, learning and growing in 2019, I'm finally like doing this whole adulting thing. When I found out that engagement photos were such a big thing I thought to myself that there's really only one person on this planet earth that I had to have shoot these photos it's my friend Marissa now Marissa and I have known each other for years fun fact she does not shoot weddings anymore but I basically begged her out of retirement I didn't have to beg her at all actually and she's right here, I'm here. I'm here. thank you for asking me okay thank Okay, she says, thank you for asking me. I need to point out that this beautiful face flew here from Nashville today just to do this shoot, and I really appreciate oh, I'm it. I'm so happy to be back here with you and be in LA, and this is an exciting moment. It's crazy. <laughs> so Marissa and I, like I mentioned, have known each other for like over a decade. We have done some really awesome shoots. We've we have. traveled. We've we met in Paris. That's Who casual. can say that? That's really casual. <laughs> I had to throw that in. <laughs> no one can say they met in Paris. Thank Let's keep you. it real, you guys. You know your girl loves looking at those awkward family photo books. <laughs> you also know for a fact that I have so many awkward family photos from growing up. Like, I could make my own book. Well, posing with another person is a completely different thing than posing on your own. That is why but you are help here. You. That is why you are here. You. Because Marissa's basically going to help us teach you guys as we go on this journey together how to look less weird and not like good weird because good weird is good but I feel like we should start at the beginning obviously I don't have any hair and makeup happening that's gonna happen next but with clothes, clothes. like My what are some part. do's and don'ts when it comes to wardrobe for engagement photos you see so many people with like the business casual going on in the pictures the portraits like the colored and the, the stiff and like I, I just too really, serious I also don't own business casual <laughs> like you're gonna find a closet full of clothes for like a 12 year old I love and it. whatever this is it. like what it. is this and I love matchy matchy but we don't you don't ever want to be like too matchy matchy especially in bland colors right so you don't want to just like it to all wash together and become one big blob that's like the opposite of what you're going for <laughs> I'm not shape. really going for blob <laughs> chic in my engagement photos and also I know it was a huge trend like in the 1900s when we grew up to like do the whole like <laughs> let's all wear denim let's oh. all wear the exact same outfit I love then, a good Canadian tuxedo but probably not for an engagement shoot right unless that is your jam in which case you do, do you and a lot yeah. of people I actually put on my Instagram account like what should I wear and a lot of people were like you should wear a classic white thing. I'm like, no. that's just not my jam. You know, my jam is like every color in the rainbow, yeah. you know? Yeah. So what do you think? Well, I love color. I love patterns. I love to like mix patterns, but at the same time, you do still want to keep like, I don't know, you still want it to be, you're going to look back at the photos right. and you're not, you don't want to regret, you don't want to be laughing at your outfit, I guess right. that's my point. So no, like no extreme shoulder pads, no, no. tiny hats. So we want no. it to be like fun, but still like almost vintage classic works really well because then it's timeless for a long time and everybody still gets it yes. versus going a little too wild and edgy. So, but obviously this is not like my solo engagement. I'm marrying myself, <laughs> a burning man photo shoot. I'm marrying Chris. Get over here. Get over here. Chris and I did a photo shoot with Marissa last year. That was like, it was pretty epic. Your modeling debut. <sighs> Show us, give us a Very loose deal. It was not. Oh, oh, oh. They're pretty, oh, they're oh, pretty good time. together. <laughs> they're pretty good together. It's pretty easy. What, what do you recommend for guys? Well, this is, yeah, this is a different scenario, but I do think that it's important that you guys at least somewhat coordinate like your eras that you're going for, you know, like the same time. Exactly. Staff, or at the right? same location. Like yeah. if one person is wearing a beachy look, the other one yes. should not be wearing like a snowsuit. <laughs> right? That exactly. makes sense. It's that simple. I and also, they, they don't need to match, but they just need to not clash. I exactly. Think. Okay. Important. You guys watching, I know some of you are like, Jocelyn, I don't have a Marissa in my life don't worry we're gonna give you guys some really easy tips that you can follow to Absolutely. be like good weird not weird weird <laughs> for the rest of eternity to look at in your family photo albums for all time <laughs> all right well I think we're gonna get started with makeup and guess what 
Brian's here. Let's go. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> She's here! She's Get over here. here! Okay, so Brian is here. You guys know who he is. We already did a video where we tested out a bunch of looks for the big day. And today actually kind of is a big day. It's the it day is. of the engagement photos. Yeah. Marissa's here. Come on over. Okay, so you guys, make me look like JLo. Thank you. That's my <laughs> only request. Really though, like what are some do's and don'ts for makeup for engagement photos? I would say keep it classic. Don't go glam for an engagement shoot, I don't think. I always love the idea is like, I think the best way to describe it is like, if you have freckles, you want to see them, and like that kind yeah. of just goes across the board. So like whatever you actually look like, you don't want to look at your engagement photos and be like, well, that was the day I really decided to go like full clown chic. You know, <laughs> no. like maybe do that for your bachelorette party. Or experiment at yeah. all. Never yes. experiment. Yeah. <laughs> no experimenting, Not unless that's your thing. <laughs> you do you. Um, okay, well let's get started. We already kind of picked awesome. out some outfits. Amazing. Marissa is going to go scout the location. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. And um, then we're going to get engaged. Oh, no. yeah, oh my gosh, happening. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm this excited is not too. just a video. This is real life. This is a big epic moment in your These life. These are like permanent photos, <laughs> you know? Make me into Beyonce. Alrighty, so I like to just start with cleansed skin. And we're going to just hydrate. I like to do like a hyaluronic mask. I always say great skin is like timeless, so. You have gorgeous skin, so you oh, thank you. It costs so much money to get this face transplant. I love it. So for people who don't have like a Marissa and a Brian in their life, what are some tips that you would give people for doing their own makeup on engagement photo day? Like, should you wear a little bit more makeup so that it shows up in pictures or what? Just a little bit. I feel like, you know, like nothing too crazy. You just want to look like the best version of yourself. If people watching this like have a shoot coming up, just start practicing and take pictures of yourself. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll be like, I look good, and then in photos I look like Casper. Like I'm yeah. like, whoa, that foundation does not match my body at all. Something that's like a really good tip, if you're doing photos at nighttime, do um, a foundation with no SPF. That's oh. when you get the flashback. Oh, really? Flashback Mary. Yeah. So you always start after skincare with the eyes because it's mm -hmm. easier to clean up, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. yeah I always feel like eyes are like best to do first because it just makes it all easier. What point are we at right now? We're blushing bright right now. Do you want to marry me? I do. <laughs> I was hesitant. What are I you mean, saying about my fiance? I mean, she's totally barking at the wrong tree right now. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? I'm ready for the reveal. I don't. I actually have no idea what I look like. Let's see. Show me the goods. Oh my gosh! I'm so glad I had nothing to do with this. I look great. I'm even wearing a different outfit. How did that happen? Magic. Thank you so much, Brian. Of course. I'm so excited about this look. I think it's gonna photograph so well. Come on in, people. Please, friends, come in. What do you think? I think you look amazing. He killed it. He did. Now it's your amazing. turn. All right, Brian. Chris's turn for makeup. <laughs> All right, oh, no. My turn. Full plan. No, you're perfect just the way you are. But I think it's time to like put on clothes. Yeah. Let's do like, it. Let's actually, do start taking the picture. It's my turn. Yay! Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Thank let's you. You're the it. best. <laughs> We're so fresh. Okay, so as you can see. <laughs> I'm done. You're ooh, you're done. I get to marry you. Um, but you actually had a fun tip that you always give couples, especially people who are like uncomfortable taking pictures. Yeah, I never want to peer pressure anybody into drinking, but uh, <laughs> you don't now, have to now, is an, now is an exception. But this is a nerve wracking thing. It's not easy to be on camera and I don't know, I just think it might loosen people up. So I would ask people like, hey, do you want to meet at a bar? And I'll just, you know, you guys get there early, maybe you have a couple drinks. Yes. Like suggestion. suggestion. And then we'll meet you there and we'll go out after that. That's and so smart. smart. But you said like not until your eyes get weird. No, two drinks max. Two drinks max. Well, this looks like two drinks in one. <laughs> what is Shooter. it? And Brian's gonna join us because my face already looks as they would say, snatural. Snatural. <laughs> Anyways, okay. cheers to, wait, right, cheers. you give a toast. Uh, to you coming out, oh. to your amazing services, mm -hmm. and to you for being my wife. Oh my God. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> so this is like one of our first 
looks and kind of just to showcase like what someone like Marissa can help us out with. Like how would we pose? Like awkward prom. Is this cute? So yeah. wait, obviously like the prom thing like got Brian's it's, like it's it done. Up like what like more like casual pose would you Well I think what what is most important here is to not be afraid of looking back. But like all the posey stuff I feel like is when it gets really well, weird. Well I kind of feel like there's no way to not do the posey stuff. So at first you're going to do the posey stuff and you're going to feel weird and then you're going to get comfortable and the photographer is going to get comfortable. Chris grab her wrist like kind of right there. Yeah pull her in. So we already shot one of our locations. All the locations are kind of like all in the same area in the city that I live in, which is Culver. We thought it would be really cool to shoot here because it's a great location, but also it's where we live. So like, it's really like special to us. We are going to a mural we saw earlier today that's to die for in a hotel that looks like it's totally in a movie lot. Chris and I actually walk around here all the time. Um, and this hotel, this mural was being painted by hand. And I was like, that's crazy. I wonder, I thought it was just gonna be like a tiny portion There's of the wall. a little break in the and mural. And then, I mean, look at how amazing this is. Okay, so for that first shot that we did, when Chris and I were first starting out, we were very much like doing like prom 1998, which definitely kept natural to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> but like the tip that Marissa gave us was really like, just don't be afraid to look stupid and be willing to have fun. Cause honestly, if you, if you take a thousand photos and get one good one or 10 good ones, that's all that matters. So posing is actually important. Posing is important and there's moments in the shoot where you're gonna wanna be posed and we take our time and we get like that epic portrait. But at the same time, you want to also let loose during like the action stuff and I think if your photographer is not talking to you, you wanna move around. Cause if you stand still, you look stiff. Always movement, unless it's a photo like the one we're about to Great. do. Great, okay, what are we doing now? Chris, right. lay on the ground, I'll lay on top of you. <laughs> we'll wear matching suits, it's gonna be great. Chris, you're gonna just need a part seeing here. You don't feel super fuzzy. Uh -huh, but like just side by just side. Just trust me. Like, no, grab your man and kind of get Grab like, my man, I give you permission, <laughs> grab my man. Get your temple like close to his right here. Okay. <laughs> modeling days is like if you're walking make it like right. very like crisscrossy criss like or super funny, exaggerated yeah. so like if you are walking with someone else it's like the concept of being like come over here now you yeah. pull me I feel like a lot of photographers might not prompt you to do all these things so it's totally okay to like practice this stuff or even like yes. silly stuff like spinning each other you just want to get each other out of like your comfort zone mm -hmm. so whether you're like tickling or playing nosy nosy or all these things that I feel like aren't very comfortable mm -hmm. honestly in the photos they look it looks amazing. Exactly, and I think like for people out there who aren't using a photographer, yeah. who have like a friend or a family yeah, exactly. member taking their pictures, even, I know this sounds stupid, but like the concept of like yes. spinning and not falling yes. is actually kind of hard. <laughs> when I first started modeling like 20 years ago, I'm retired <laughs> now, um, my, age, my first agent told me buy magazines and try to like simulate what other people are doing, and I think that was really good advice. The next photo right now, Marissa has told us we're gonna smell each other. <laughs> wow, I think that's a wrap. I can't believe it. But I wanna give another shout out to Marissa for one last tidbit, which I would give you guys if it's really hard for you to be serious, which it is for me. She says, look down, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and then look up. It actually works. It does You're work. amazing. Breathing is everything because we can tell in a photo when somebody's not breathing. Anyways, you guys, this has been an awesome day. We got so many amazing photos, but now the question is, which photo do we use? Can say they met in Paris. Make me look like JLo. Let's look super hot. Cheers.
Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Just don't be afraid to look stupid and be willing to have fun. No. Grab a man. And kind of get, grab like, my man. Here. I give you permission. <laughs> grab my man. <laughs>